Hello again everybody and welcome back again to more of Outlaw Golf. In the last part we took care of the first six holes and that's all we really need to say as far as the introduction is concerned. Um, yeah. We're here I didn't leave myself seven. much time to really make an Holy. intro anyway, so... Yes. <clears throat> and... Yeah, so, um... I will go ahead and point out again because I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I, I probably I feel like kind of stating the obvious. Um, but yeah. In the third part, there will be different results. Um, most likely when it comes to after the twelfth hole. Um, because yeah, you'll see the twelfth hole, and then you know it'll be done there, and then we'll start off with thirteenth. Second shot. And you're gonna, gonna have to excuse me. I'm coming. I'm kind of starting to get a little bit sick. Um, because I ate um Second had hot. Shot. Only had two hot dogs and then a uh, and then like a I think it was a yeah a sausage link or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. I just feel really sick to my stomach right now. Um, and if. I mean, you probably can't hear it, but, um, I even have my air conditioner on, so I won't yeah. end up getting, like, you know, um, Second shot. you know, nauseous or whatnot. In fact, give me just a second. Second shot. Third shot. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm trying to really cool down because I've been—I don't know why I decided to wear a sweater, but I decided—I thought wearing a sweater would be a good idea for some reason. That might be why, because wearing a sweater in the you know in the middle in yeah in the middle of spring, um, not a very good idea. But anyway, um, you know. Something that, I mean, I know I kind of, uh, I want to kind of talk about, you know, when, when I was talking about texting while driving. You know, I know I probably dropped a lot of, you know, um, cuss words and stuff like that, and, uh, I don't, uh, but I, and I will tell you why, and, uh, it's actually, it's still, it's usually when I'm really mad about something that I really cuss a lot in, I guess. I mean, I know I wasn't cussing really like a sailor necessarily, but... But when people, when, it, when things like that, like, piss me off or whatever, like, like, people, like, the idiocy of people, um, like, that really pisses me off, and I, and that's why I tend to cuss a lot when I talk about those things that involve the ignorance of people, um, you know, like texting while driving, that involves ignorant people, because ignorant people started it in the first place, they felt, they thought they could take on multi, they thought they were the multitaskers of the, you know, the multitasker masters of the universe. And so they felt like keeping their eyes focused on the road and listening to music at the same time was not enough of an, it was, I mean, listening to, yeah, listening to the radio was not enough of a distraction. So they felt like, they felt that they have to complete the entire, their entire lifetimes while driving, you know, and that's, and it's really stupid when people do that, I think. Um, and that's why it pisses me off. So, um, you know, I kind of want to sort of apologize in advance if that, inf if all the cussing, you know, offends anybody or if it, you know, um, if people don't really agree with that, um, it's sort of a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's not my fault, but I would say that, um, I've kind of sort of, um, accustomed myself to doing, I've kind of realized that I do that, you know, um. Now this actually was a bit of a challenging putt. Uh, this was kind of actually a, a lot. I was I was kind of a little bit lucky, I would say, because I kind of I really didn't know uh, if I could have made if I was gonna make that. But yeah, that would be about a 60 foot putt, so that was pretty sweet. Um, I kind of want to try and steer t not too far away from the game this time, because uh, my whole that whole last video was basically ranting about. Um, was just yeah was basically ranting generally speaking because um, and and there were some really stupid putts that Doc Diggler missed which was hilarious uh well they weren't really stupid putts because they're because he missed them 
you know. But yeah, I he was he missed a lot of easy puts, and I didn't really point those out very well. I didn't really point those out at all. In fact, I didn't point those out at all. At all, I kind of I didn't even really pay attention. I didn't really pay attention to the fight. <sighs> yeah, um, and yeah, she actually missed that putt. Um, pretty much by the same length that the first putt that her par putt was for, but. Uh, and of course, I didn't really, I didn't really highlight that because I figured she'd make it, but you know, still. El Suave is up at the tee. Um, I mean, just I can kind of point something out. I mean, it's it's a little bit beyond obvious, and I actually barely made that bridge. And that's actually what I kind of wanted to talk about for like about ten seconds, maybe. Is that um, if you yeah don't if unless you really got unless you have a really good consistency with your driving, uh, I would advise not to go for that bridge, to not go over the bridge really. Um, you can probably hit a like a low shot, you know, underneath it or whatever, but try not to go over it unless you have a really good consistency. Um, and you can hit over, I think that was, yeah, unless you can, also unless you can hit over 280 yards at least. Um, that's probably a little bit easier to do on, uh, the first hole, but this hole, yeah, you definitely want to be over, at least over, you have, you definitely want to be over 280. Second shot. Uh, like 294, like that. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I had a perfect shot, but um, either way, I barely made it over that bridge, so that can kind of give you a little bit of an insight um, on if you really should go for that bridge very often. Um, and it's not really a big deal if you even don't. I mean, you can, you know, they. I don't think, you know, none of the computers ever go over the bridge, and yet they still, you know, are only 160 yards away, which actually makes their shots a little bit easier. Um, well, probably not easier, but, uh, but, you know, but it's not too close and it's not too far either. And my air conditioner is on fire or something. Oh, it's raining outside, that's why. Uh... I, had, I, kinda, I was like confused for a minute because it's you know kind of like dun 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 dun. you know it's kind of it's you know you can hear the raindrops on it and uh, I was like what the hell you know and then I thought about it for a second and I was like oh it's raining because yeah they've been talking about some rain all day so they've been talking about rain all day around here so yeah um, that's kind of one of the other reasons I want to wear a sweater because uh, because uh, one day I one day I was freezing my ass off like Harley I think it was like I mean uh, granted I was I had my air conditioner on too but you know it was still like I think the highest it got that entire day was like 40 or something like that I can't remember it was it was pretty cold I have to admit um, and I was just wearing a t-shirt I was like I mean a t-shirt and you know jeans and whatnot and I was like you know it, I wasn't wearing any layers or anything like that and so so I was like, oh, it might be kind of chilly out there. So, you know, um, might get ready for that. Might be prepared for that. Yeah, you can see, like, look at that. I was winning by three shots, and uh, I think I pretty much, I think I end up pretty much, you know, with the same margin. Um, and then I just lose, and then I just lost to those two shots on the last six holes, which was ridiculous. Uh, which I still have yet to record. I have... I'm not gonna make. I'm not really gonna make an attempt. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try tonight or not. Cause um, it, yeah, here's one of my. I had a huge uh, hook, and I was actually very, very lucky for it to not have gone in the water. But it might as well have been the. Well, no, it probably wouldn't. It probably shouldn't have been the equivalent because uh, that ball. Would, I still would have been on my third shot with 400 yards to go, so that would have been bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was kind of, I was really screwed right here. There was no chance for me to get anywhere near that green, so I had to kind of just try to get it back in the fairway, um, kind of thing. And that's and that and shots like that that were pit that were really making me mad. 
because uh, I kept doing it over and over again on the last six holes. I think I did it a total of like four times. And yeah, I... And, you know, I was trying to, you know, fix my problem, you know, by, like, gripping the control a little bit harder, you know, trying to Second make shot. these small hand adjustments, because, you know, and, Third um, shot. you know, so so that way I take the ball, so I take the control stick back and forward, uh, more, e more lined up perfectly, and even some of the times that I thought I was pretty sure I lined up perfectly, you know, it still sliced it, and I was like, oh, what the hell, you know, I mean, I still hit, I still missed Second shots shot. terribly, you know, and I didn't get it um and even and I even tried resorting to the C stick trick because my hands are much more relaxed and I have much better chance I mean it feels like I have a much better chance at a consistent you know swing per se and it still like did the same thing and uh and you know and this is a controller I actually bought recently uh the one that I bought in replacement if you will to the other one that I think I broke but you know um, or the one that, yeah, is broken, supposedly, or something. I don't know what's up with it, but... I kind of wanted to take the controller apart and see if... You know, to see, but... Uh, if, there, if I could do anything about it, but I can't because I don't have the right screws for it. I don't have the right screwdriver for it. And the screws are kind of rare. Um, they're, they're, they're not the four-sided bits, like the off-brand ones, but the... But the official you controllers, I think, have evil. only like the three. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess I don't know what you call those. I guess the uh, they're kind of like triangle screws in a way, but but they're not triangles. They're just kind of three-sided, if you will. Like I don't know. If you look on a normal screwdriver, you know, there's probably four or five little um, I don't know uh, edges, I guess. Uh, you know, um, I don't know, um, like the ones I have are mostly four skirt, yeah, they're four sided, and, uh, again, I don't know the term for it, but, um, you know, they're mostly four sided, and the ones on the GameCube controller are three, where the ones on the off-brand ones, uh, like, like, like the ones that GameStop sells, and, like, all that. Uh, one of the ones I have is, is, um, a GameStop brand name, I suppose, um, and it's a four-sided screw Second thing, shot. so it's actually a pretty common screw to take apart, or to take out, but, um, I think the problem with that one, though, is, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think the, yeah, the hole, yeah, the holes are, so, like, they're, like, deep, so they're really hard to access, um, and it's really much more trouble than it's worth. If I had a power tool or something like that, it would be much easier to work with, but I don't, so... Ah, but anyway, uh, let's see what's going on here with Killer Miller. Taking a sweet time on that easy putt. Yeah, and I try to cut down the time, the, the time a little bit by... Uh, try, kind of skipping a lot of the... Uh, skipping a lot of their putts, you know. Well, I mean, like, I could skip my own, yeah, right? No, but, um... But, yeah, I try to skip a lot of their putts, um, if necessary. Um, some of them I try to keep on, you know, I just fast-forwarded it in case they... So, you know, in case they miss it, you know, and then I could... Then y'all can watch it and laugh at them, you know, whatever. <sighs> yeah, you can see the margin kind of reduces a little bit there. Um, uh, yeah. You know, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's almost one in the morning. I don't know if I record tonight. I don't know if I record the last part tonight or not. Thunder. Second shot. If only I can impersonate thunder without it make without making it sound like some sort of lightning. Second shot. <laughs> no, I see. I, I can't do it. <laughs> you just basically do Batman. That's all you have to do. <laughs> or yeah, Batman from the Dark Knight. Second shot. Who do you want to kill me? <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, I don't even do that great of an impression of that. I mean, all you have to do is really guttural sounds, but you know, still, I can't even do that much. No, but uh, 
No, I actually did that for a while. I always, I made fun of the Dark Knight all the time. Like when it first came out. I mean, I loved the movie. The movie was awesome. I, I mean, I loved he. You know, everybody talks about Heath Ledger's acting and all that. You know, and I kind of agree. I don't agree with them because he took Demented to. I mean, well, he didn't take Demented. He just took Insane to a whole new level. Uh, in acting, anyway. Yeah, and she makes that like nothing. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I always did that. I always just made fun of the Batman. I always just like. I always, I just kept talking like him all the time and everything. It was pretty entertaining to me. Where are coming? <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, we're getting kind of close to the bit end of the video here. Actually, really quickly. Um, so yeah, that'll be everything for this for the next for six holes uh, seven through twelve, and I will see you guys for the final six when it gets recorded. So bye bye.